Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to modify the slideshow module. Now, on the homepage of your website, you notice there's a slideshow, and the images that come with the theme and the slider aren't gonna be appropriate for your store. So we're gonna show you how to completely change the content within that slideshow. So let's get into it now. So you have your store going and it, everything's going well, we're adding products, uh, but you have this main feature here and none of these images quite represent your store, right? I mean, it's lorem ipsum text for one, they're sort of nonsense headings, they all link to the prestashop.com. Basically, you want to customize this slideshow and the content within it. Now, how can we do that? So to get here, we need to go into modules like we were before, and we need to find the slideshow module. So we can use the search functionality here, and we can just type in slide, and you'll notice that uh, we have one here that seems like it's a likely candidate, the image slider for your homepage. It says right there in the title, you pretty much can't mistake it, so let's go ahead and click configure. Now from here, you can set up things like the minimum image width, the speed in which the transition happens between the two slides. You can even choose how long the slides stay there in milliseconds. And you can choose whether it's autoplay or not. Now if we scroll down, you can see we have options for the slides. And we have an image. Uh, and, and next to them here, you can click and drag and reorder. So you can set up different ones to be the first, second, or third. You can also enable or disable particular slides. So how do we change these? Well, there's an edit button right here. We're just gonna go ahead and click that. Now we have our image. We can choose to upload a new image here. Now I have a uh, image saved to my desktop I'm gonna use, so I'm gonna do choose file. And this is just an image of a fence. You can give this a slide title. So we're just gonna say this is a fence image. It's not really uh, anything in particular, but let's actually link this to one of our product pages. So let's come to the store and under men t-shirts, I believe we had this sticker here. So let's copy this link and we're gonna paste this in here under target URL. Now, if you wanted this to be a relative URL, you could also do it like this, uh, just, or you can leave it as the full path. And here we have in the description box, the text that's going to be on top of our image. What's nice about this is it gives you access to the WYSIWYG editor, so you can not only change the text, but you can modify these, uh, this button style or this paragraph style. You can make things bold or just change it generally how you want. Now let's go ahead and save this slide. The save button's in the bottom right here. And let's check it out on the front page of our store. Here it is. We have this image here. And as you can see, the image has white text over the top of it. So with these images, um, they're using darker patterns with the white text. And this is something you could change with your CSS. However, uh, for right now, you might just want to pick darker images if you know that your images are going to be of a of a certain background. Now, you'll also wanna notice that the slideshow adapts to the height of the largest image. Since this image is taller than these other images, you're gonna get something weird here where you have a different height discrepancy. So if you want your slideshow to look nice, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you crop all of these images to be the same size. But other than that, we now have the ability to completely modify this slideshow. We can change the text on top of it. We can change all the functions. And when you click it, it's going to take you somewhere and we change that as well. So you now know how to completely manage the slideshow item on the homepage of your PrestaShop store. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.